Hello lovelies and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's really exciting video. I'm so, so glad you came along because today we're going to be making a really, really amazing announcement. There's a really, really exciting event coming up next week and it's just such an amazing concept and I can't wait to be a part of spreading the news and getting that information out there. Lovely, lovely, lovely lady invited me yesterday and then again tonight there was an announcement. So the word is definitely being spread and I just hope that I can make some small contribution and maybe reach at least one or two people that can come along and join as well, especially if you're in Australia or New Zealand. We're currently in um, the time of Omer where we're counting the time between Pesach and Shavuot, um, which is 49 days. But on the 33rd day, we have a very, very special festival called Lug Be Omer, which literally means the 33rd day of the Omer or in the Omer. So normally under regular circumstances, there would be a huge bonfire about two streets away from me. All the community come together. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of dancing, a lot of celebration. It's a very happy, happy day, happy festival. Why I really love Lug Be Omer is it's often a day of such light and such happiness. It's historically a very light day. So I absolutely love it. Um, normally on Log Bomber though, I would wear such a simple tickle, something usually one piece of uh, scarf or fabric, um, nothing too complicated, and perhaps even going for something that's the most easy to wash because it's extremely important to be able to then get the smell of the smoke from the bonfire out of your tickle. This year, something very special is happening. There's going to be a virtual Log Bomber um, and it's just the most exciting thing because at this time we get to still have all the light, if not more, without any of the smoke, but all of the light. This year my scarf is going to be as special as possible. So I've chosen this gorgeous thing because it is white, which represents the brightness and the light and the miracle of the day. Got beautiful beading through the end here and these gorgeous red flowers. The red, of course, reminds us of the flames. And I've also got this gorgeous red headband that we're going to incorporate in the look as well. So all I've done is I've put a little bit of volume at the back here and I'm just going to really really tightly put this down and tie it off. You don't have to, I did put mine a little bit asymmetrically, just ever so slightly. That's because I really want to feature these um, details at the very end. I'm going to take the two ends here that have stitching through them. Just fold this scarf quite neatly. And take this across, letting it gather naturally, bringing the red out to the front of my book. So, bringing it back around and feeding it through. Okay, so that's how it's hanging there. As soon as you're happy with how your tail is hanging, this is where you might want to incorporate a bit of jewellery. You can do maybe some pearls or um, a ribbon of some sort or a thinner scarf. I'm just going to use this black one as an example. You can just incorporate it here. As I said before, I'm going to use the headband. It's just going to crown my bun. That's all it's going to do. Next, I'm going to take this one that's just ever so slightly shorter. Make sure I've got all the right sides showing. And I'm just going to take it through so it covers the part of the headband that I don't want to be seen, which is this little elastic bit here. And feeding it through again. So what do you think of these? Is this a Lug Bomber look? <laughs> I'm very, very excited about this because I wouldn't normally wear an all white look. It's it's just not something that has come up. <laughs> I usually have some sort of color in there or some sort of layering with the white, but I just absolutely love it. And I mean, we're quite deep into autumn here in Australia, but even so, 
this is just a very very pretty very pretty fabric and um, it very very much speaks to me about the light and the flame and the warmth um, of this particular festival I've got more flowers down here so I've got this beautiful sort of up and down look it's really really asking for a nice red or orange top to go with it isn't it I hope you really loved tonight's stick haul. I really gave it a lot of thought about what kind of style um, I would wear if I had the opportunity to wear any kind of fabric I wanted and really, really speak about the festival that we're celebrating rather than worrying about chasing kids, a hectic night, and of course the smells of the smoky bonfire, which I'll have to admit I will miss seeing because there is something very special about a burning, dancing flame. It, it's just so magical and it just opens up a whole other realm um, with its energy and its excitement. So I'm planning to light something um, here at home, in the backyard perhaps, something small, um, you know, even if it's a candle, just to get that flame going and um, really just remind us that it is still like the Omer, which is a huge community event, but we're all celebrating by ourselves this time. And this is where I would love to tell you guys about this event that these wonderful people in my community have organized and they're just magical for even coming up with the concept. It's just a very exciting idea. So if you are in New Zealand or Australia and you want to be able to celebrate like Bomer um, with your fellow like Bomer celebrators, uh, I would urge you to log in on the event. I'll have all the details listed below if you don't catch them here, but it's 18 for 18. It's a Facebook event. Um, it's happening at 1800, uh, at 1800 at, on like Bomer. Um, and it's going to be, it's the most exciting to get 18, a thousand together for 18 minutes at 1800 so the address to reach this event is 18418.com.au 18for18.com.au and i just really hope this is a success that people get all this beautiful light and all this inspiration from this event there is no affiliation there is no organization this is just purely to spread love and spread togetherness in a time where we're all very much feeling apart. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's look. I hope you're looking forward to the beautiful event coming up wherever you are in your town. I hope that your community is doing something special for the special evening. What are your fondest memories of I like Bomera there's been. Um, for me it's definitely roasted veggies deep 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 in that bonfire. Um, you know baking potatoes in, wrapped in foil inside a flame is just something special no matter what time of year you do it. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that red subscribe button or there is a little alias symbol there somewhere on the screen. That means you're not yet subscribed. So please go ahead and join us. Welcome, welcome. For more looks and real life stuff, head over to Instagram. There's stuff going up there all the time. Lots of pictures of my kids and just bits and pieces from daily life. So I'd love to have you over there to follow. If you like this video and you want to see more Tickle looks, please join me on Wednesdays for the midweek wrap-ups um, and hit like on the video below. If you think, if you know someone who needs makeup tips or Tickle tying inspiration, please send them over my way. I'd love to have them over to view as well. There's many, many, many videos on this channel. Every Wednesday there's a Tickle tutorial and every weekend, every Sunday, there is a makeup inspired look. So please go ahead, feel free to have a look at some of those. And I am equally looking forward to seeing you and your friends on the next one. Happy luck, well, Mary, everyone, if I don't see you till then. And wherever you are, I hope, I hope you're staying safe. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. Bye.